Tonight we are learning new details about the deadly school shooting in Georgia yesterday. Just coming into our newsroom, this is the mugshot of the suspect 14 year old Colt Gray. Thanks for being here with us today at five o'clock. I'm Joel D. Smith. Two students, two teachers. They were the ones killed in that shooting at Appalachie High School in Barrow County, Georgia. Flowers now lying underneath the school sign, a tribute to those victims. So far, investigators say Gray opened fire just before 1030 in the morning. Two school resource officers were eventually able to stop him. This is according to the Barrow County Sheriff's Office. So police were also able to arrest Gray after that point. And today, several students seen praying together, being together, remembering their fellow classmates. The teacher was trying to calm us down. We, we all went to the corner of the room. He, he was a very sweet kid. He did not deserve this. Neither did uh, the coach or everyone else. Sheriff saying definitely grateful for the quick response from the school staff saying without them, without what they did, this would have been a greater tragedy. So authorities in Georgia say they did receive several tips last year that the 14 year old suspect was threatening a school shooting then with online threats, including posting photos of guns. According to the FBI and the Jackson County Sheriff's Office, the student and father were questioned by police. The father said he had hunting guns in the house but his son did not have unsupervised access to them. The student denied making online threats. Local schools were tasked with keeping an eye on him, but others say that police didn't have any more probable cause to do more. If they're, if they're talking about obviously, um, you know, committing a school shooting, if there's an obsession with weapons, if there's an obsession with, with school mass murderers, obviously if they're doing searching for all of these things online, past mass murders. These are red flags. So Gray will make his first court appearance tomorrow, according to CNN, and he will be tried as an adult at the age of 14. So with that tragedy in mind in Georgia yesterday, CBS 21 asking what's being done at some other school districts closer to home in order to try to prevent something like this happening here. Certainly not the first time something like this has happened, but we want to know what they're thinking now. Our investigative reporter Chu Yi Lin taking a closer look at how teachers are being trained to spot red flags. She's joining us right now outside the Susquehanna School District with more. Chu Yi. Yes, Joel D, we spoke to several agencies and learned that there's this Act 55 that requires all school employees to go through security and safety trainings. And all school districts are supposed to also provide um, mental health, uh, behavioral, behavioral health awareness trainings as well. And many districts such as Susquehanna uh, Township School Districts, like uh, behind me here, also provide something else to stay proactive such as building strong relationships with students. And this helps the school recognize any at-risk behaviors. The school also dedicates time to allow students to have access to a consistent, trusted adult figures. And they said this is not just a regular homeroom period. This is to encourage students to communicate. They also have threat assessment teams at each school building to identify threats. So each building has dedicated personnel, such as mental health professionals, law enforcement, and trained staff whose sole purpose is to keep an eye on all the students and their well-being. The staff are also made aware of this program called ALICE, which means alert, lock down, inform, counter, evacuate. ALICE is to help everyone at school to make the right decisions and increase their chances of survival. We are told that any teachers, any school employees can um, refer a student to the risk uh, assessment teams and just keeping that channel open at all time. For now, I'll send this back to you guys.